Recent wildfire seasons have shown that Canadian communities are vulnerable to devastating loss. To what degree can we reduce the risk to our home and communities? Research and science have taught us that the way in which our homes are built and our properties are maintained greatly contribute to the resilience of our homes and neighborhoods. Typical community developments allow fire to transfer easily between homes and buildings. The potential for damage intensifies when flammable building materials are used. Let's check in with some homeowners to see how they have applied FireSmart as they build their home. Hello, I'm Keith. And I'm Alice. We live in the Wildland Urban Interface, which is any area where wildfire can have a negative impact on the community because of the proximity of development to vegetation. To live resiliently within our wildfire reality, we have designed our new home following FireSmart development guidelines. Check out some of the choices we've made. The roof is the most vulnerable part of our home. Sparks and burning embers from a wildfire can travel long distances and quickly ignite flammable roofing material. We have chosen to use non-combustible material and a simple roof design to reduce the number of locations where combustible debris and embers can accumulate. As part of our ongoing FireSmart home and property maintenance, we will clean any combustible debris off of our roof regularly and inspect shingles to ensure they are not curling or exposed. We have chosen a simple exterior wall design using non-combustible fiber cement board for our siding. This will decrease the number of locations for combustible debris and embers to accumulate, reducing the risk of our home igniting during a wildfire. We've also installed window screening and windows that are triple paned and tempered to improve performance against radiant heat exposures. We will monitor the weather stripping on our properly fitted garage door for drying, cracking, and any gaps or openings. We have also installed non-combustible fire rated vents with three millimeter screening. Our FireSmart maintenance routine will include inspecting vents and openings regularly to ensure they are in good repair and removing any accumulated debris. Open gutters on homes provide a place for debris to accumulate and are entry points for sparks and embers. To protect any exposed roof sheathing, we installed metal soffits under our gutters. We chose non-combustible aluminum downspouts in gutters. FireSmart maintenance for your gutters is simple. Keep them clean and free of debris. We selected a fire-rated composite material for our deck and sheathed the underside with non-combustible fiber cement board. Three millimeter screening would also have worked. We move our lawn furniture to the shed after entertaining. And it's important to clear accumulated debris frequently. Avoid attaching wooden fences and boardwalks directly to your home because they create a direct line for a wildfire. If you do install a wood fence, ensure there is at least a 1.5 meter non-combustible break between the fence and your home. Also, mow the lawn and clear debris regularly. Science and research have taught us that maintaining a 1.5 meter non-combustible surface around our home greatly reduces its vulnerability to wildfire. This non-combustible surface can be created by clearing vegetation and combustible material down to bare mineral soil. Woody shrubs, trees, or tree branches should be avoided in this zone. These were our FireSmart choices. To learn more, you can download a copy of the FireSmart Home Development Guide from the firesmartcanada.ca website. 